Today on Horseland. Over there, Chili. We've got to go back. Separated and lost on the trail, <laughs> Molly and Chili must learn to get along in order to survive. Bear! Chili, no! Let's load up the tents. OK. Here are the sleeping bags. Well, there you have it. Proof that humans are incredibly strange. What do you be there, Gora? Humans are strange. They have cozy rooms and nice warm beds and roofs that keep the rain out. Let's not forget extra layers. It's going to be cold. And they choose to go sleep on rocky dirt in the cold night air. It's the Twilight Trek. It's part of their classes here at Horseland. They're learning to take care of themselves, to trust each other, and their horses, too. You mean like us pigs and dogs and cats trust each other? That's right, Tinny. You trust me, and I trust you. But those human folk don't always give trust the chance to grow. They are so going to love the Twilight Track. Hey, if I didn't have tickets to the terribly exclusive... Achoo! The terribly exclusive Wellington Downs horse show, I'd go again. Yeah, it was great being out there on our own. But I think I'm going to spend the next few days resting. Achoo! <laughs> I wish we could do a real solo trek. Yeah, why does Will have to watch over us? Doesn't he trust us? Yeah, who says we're not old enough to go alone, huh? Um, the Horseland rules, our parents, common sense. Well, besides that, we'll still be on our own. We each have our own campsite. We'll have to depend on our horses, and they'll have to depend on us. Achoo! You really learn how to trust your horse when you're alone with him. When I gave Chili his lead on the way back, he took me through an old apple orchard <laughs> that even Bailey didn't know about. Man, I can hardly wait. What's it like setting up camp so late in the day? It's a good way to learn how to work fast, because it's getting dark. And it's a great way to catch a cold, so dress warm. Let's see now. Saddlebag, check. Sleeping bag, check. You're ready, Molly. Trust me. You think so? I know so. Now let's get Bailey and get started. Of course, it all depends on the rider you're dealing with. We horses know what we're doing. It was great with Chloe, but I can't imagine a twilight trek with one of the other riders. I can't wait to get out there with Molly. The forest at night, under the stars, it's gonna be great. Ow! What's the matter, Calypso? I ow, don't know. My back, it hurts. Oh, no! It's a hot spot! It's a bad one, Calypso. Right in the middle of your back. I can't let Molly see. I have to go on the track. Won't she see it when she puts on your saddle? It's high up. Maybe she won't see. Ooh, but it hurts. Hot spots can get infected, Calypso. You have to let them treat it. And that means no saddle. Oh, oh, oh! A hot spot! Calypso has a hot spot! That sounds bad. Poor Calypso! Poor Molly! You mean lucky Calypso and lucky Molly. This means nice warm beds for them tonight. Poor Chloe didn't sound too good. Sure glad I didn't catch that cold. I wouldn't miss tonight for anything. Who's looking after Chili while Chloe takes a few days off to feel better? Uncle John will, while we're on the trek. There's no day off when you're caring for a horse. It's time, girl! <laughs> what happened to your blanket? Calypso? Ooh, it's a hot spot, Molly. Oh, no! Poor 
poor Calypso. How could I have missed it? Don't worry, Molly. I'll call the vet and have him come by in the morning. He can check on her. Oh, but what about the trek? We could wait a day or two. I don't think anybody would mind. Weather's gonna be turning. We go tonight or wait till next month. Next month? Let me check with Bailey's folks. Don't worry, girl. We'll get you better. Okay, thanks. I'll tell her. They say you can go tonight. Yes! But you'll have to ride Chili. Chili? Think about it. Chloe won't be able to ride him for a few days. This will be a good chance for Chili to get some exercise. Come on, we don't want to do this without you. But I can't ride Chili. He's Chloe's horse and, well, there's something about that horse. I just don't trust him. And does anyone ask me if I want her as a writer? No! It's just not right. So what's it gonna be? Come on, Mal. Just one night. Okay. <sighs> I guess so. Good deal. Great. We get a twilight trick and Chili gets a workout. Everybody wins. Everybody, Everybody except, except me. me. Don't worry, girl. It's you and me next time. Molly, we're ready. Coming. Get well, sweetheart. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm riding Chloe's horse. I like my feet lower than Chloe. Or maybe my legs are longer. Everything okay? Just getting the stirrups right. Molly really doesn't want to ride Chili, does she? Would you? I mean, going out at night on an unfamiliar horse? She could at least give him a chance. Chili's a good horse. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right then, let's get a move on. Bye, Calypso. <sighs> let's move it, Chili. I'm kind of worried about Molly. Never seen her this way. Maybe I should follow him in case there's a problem. Good idea, Shep. Look, the twilight trek is when humans learn to trust their horses and themselves. So let them learn. You two worry too much. <sighs> Maybe you're right. How are they doing back there? Hard to tell. You know, Calypso likes bringing up the rear, so she can keep an eye on the others. No, it's because she's slow. What do you say, Race? Okay, Will? Okay. Let's go! You're on! Yeah! Come on, Aztec. We're not gonna let them win, are we? Yeah! Hey, not without us either. Come on, Calypso! <laughs> Whoa! Chili. Man! I am not used to this saddle. Or this horse. What's taking Molly so long? Can't you go any faster, Chili? I'd go faster if I thought I could trust her to stay in the saddle. Molly doesn't look too happy. Neither does Chili. She can see us now. Come on. Chili, they crossed the creek there. Chili! Oh, this is better. Not as deep here. You know this creek, huh, Chili? <laughs> Looks like Chili won that round. Hello? Hey, you were right. Just this once. That doesn't mean you're running things. Got it. Molly, do you have your sleeping bag? Yeah, sure, it's right. No way! It's not there! Eva Marie found it, back in the stable. Poor Molly. When she switched horses, she forgot it. And it's gonna be cold tonight. Plenty of daylight left. Follow the trail back and get your gear. I have to go back? Zoe's gonna meet you halfway with it. We'll be right here. Oh! Hey, think of it as a survival lesson. You'll never forget your sleeping bag again.
wouldn't have forgotten if I had my own horse. Plenty of daylight, he said. With my luck, it'll be pitch black by the time we get back. Molly! Zoe! Got your sleeping bag. Okay. At least Molly has all of her gear now. Thanks, Zoe. This whole thing has turned into a real challenge. How's Chili doing? Okay, I guess. Well, I'd better get back. Getting dark. Have fun. Yeah, right. Let's go, Pepper. Zoe's going back to Horseland, so I'm gonna keep an eye on Molly. <sighs> the work of man's best friend is never done. Must be their campsites. Let's give them a call and tell them we found a place to set up our camp. Frontier girl with a cell phone. Hey, Will, we're back. I see your fire. I'm setting up camp just down the hill from you. See my flashlight? I see you, Molly. Great. Well, good night. See you in the morning. Let's go, Chili. Time for bed. Hey. Where'd they go now? <gasps> Did you hear something, Chili? Just the night animals, huh? Man, I am really ready for bed. Oh. You hear the that? What kind of animal makes that sound? Oh. Chili! No! I gotta go find Chili! About time to turn in, Jimber. Wake me up if any of the trekkers need anything, huh? so tangled up in these briars, Shep. Ow! Gonna need my gloves for this. Chili, look after Shep, huh? I'll be back in a sec. Well, how are you doing, Shep, old boy? Oh, I've had better days. What are you doing here anyway? First, I was concerned about Zoe going off by herself, but then I saw you and Molly without the others and got even more worried. All she talks about is how she wishes Calypso was here instead of me. She did come looking when you got spooked. Yeah, I guess. Now let's get you out of there, boy. Hope everything's okay back at Horseland. I wonder how Calypso is doing. Chili hasn't been as bad as I thought he'd be. Still, he's not Calypso. Oh. You okay? Come back to our camp. <sighs> and get some sleep. Sorry we lost your feed bag when you were spooked, Chili. I bet you're hungry. All I have is peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you don't like PBJs? Well, at least try the crust. Looks like somebody else missed dinner. <laughs> Here you go, boy. So what do you think of Molly now? She fed us both dinner before she fed herself. She's not so bad, I guess. But that doesn't mean I like her. 
What's she gotta do to earn your trust? I don't know if she can. There we go. Look at those stars. Incredible. Man, I wish Calypso was here to see him. It's always Calypso this, Calypso that. Chile, she didn't mean anything against you. She misses Calypso, that's all. I'm going back to Horseland. She can double up with one of the others. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Chile. Give the kid a chance. <sighs> Give the kid a chance. She had her chance. <laughs> Calypso wouldn't have crossed the stream there. Why can't you be more like Calypso? Molly and I just weren't meant to get along. Hold on. What was that? All right. That you, Shep? This is not funny. That's not dog. That smells like... Shep! Shep! Come on, we gotta get out of here! Where's the file? No fire! Bear! Move it! Wait! We've got to get Molly! I nearly forgot! She wouldn't forget about us! We've gotta go back! Bearproof container. Hope he likes PP pee -pee and Chase and stays there for a while. Boy, Ship. <laughs> Will, Bailey, Sarah, Alma, there's a bear tearing up my campsite. I left my saddlebag out. We'll be okay. All our food's in the bear bin. Lucky you're a light sleeper, Molly. I'm not. Chili woke me up. Good job, Chili. He was loose and could have run. But he risked his own safety for mine. <laughs> I know we're safe, but I wish that bear hadn't gotten my breakfast. You can have some of what we have left if you... Hey, what's going on? Chili, that's not the way back. What now? Molly, where are you going? I don't know. But let's see what he wants to do. He earned my trust last night. Why not? The old orchard! Must be the one Chloe found. Chili remembered the way. Molly, looks like you get an apple for breakfast. Chili, too. Apples, cool! Perfect breakfast! I'm hungry as a bear! Nice move, Chili. If I didn't know better, I might think Molly's grown on ya. But you know better. Oh, 
ship. That's the most thrilling thing I ever heard. We were caught in the bramble and, oh, and there was a bear. And you scared, Chip, were you? Not too scared, Tina. I knew Molly and Chile were right there to help. I trusted them. Will, hold on a second. What's up, Molly? There's something I didn't have a chance to do. What's that? To say thank you, Chili. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to believe what I just heard. Today on Horseland. She has no right to treat people the way she does. Malicious gossip threatens to tear apart lifelong friendships. You're the one who started it. And ruin everything that's special about Horseland. What's the point of being here? It says this guy met Shondi's sister at Shondi's birthday party, and now the sister and this guy are seeing each other. Ooh, harsh. Do you think it's really true, Zoe? I doubt it, Chloe. Is anything in this magazine actually true? Yeah, and anyway, how could one sister possibly be so cruel to another? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, Champ. Why do they read it if they don't think it's true? Hard to explain, Tina. Humans call it gossip. What's gossip, Champ? It's an ugly thing, Tina. It's saying things behind somebody's back. Why would anyone do that? Beats me. All I know is it can be really nasty, especially when it's you somebody's gossiping about. Pretty good, pretty good. Keep it moving now. You have to keep it precise. Yes! Great going. I think you have a real shot at the trophy. Oh, cool. Right. Way to ride. Woo! Can I help you here, Bailey? Sure, that'd be nice, Molly. What's that you're humming? Do I la 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 like you more than I la la love you? It's Sarah Malone from that Pretty in Purple CD. Do you like her songs? Yeah, kinda. I read about her in one of Zoe's gossip magazines. It said some revealing things. Sarah's not a very pleasant person. She has a huge <gasps> ego and thinks she can do anything. Do you believe that? I'm just telling you what I read. You are not gonna believe what I just heard. Molly was totally trashing Sarah. No, they're like this. She said Sarah has a huge ego and thinks she can do anything. Who said that? Molly. No way. If you don't believe me, ask her yourself. I will. <laughs> Better yet. Listen for yourself. I'm telling you, Sarah is totally full of herself. Told you so. <laughs> she's a stuck-up phony. She treats people like she's so far above them. <gasps> Hold on, Molly. That's just gossip. Oh, I know. I'm out of here. This isn't right. <gasps> Sarah, it's you. <laughs> Yep, it's me. What's wrong? Oh, ow! I have um, a splinter in my foot. Been bugging me all day. Help me to the house, okay? Sure, Alma. Here, lean on me. Did you tell her? Tell me what? Nothing, come on. Why didn't you tell her? Alma, I'm not going anywhere until you tell me. Okay, but you're not gonna like it. Molly's talking trash about you. Oh, please. I heard her, too. She called you a... a stuck-up phony. What? That's not Molly. I'll ask her myself. Where is she? In the tack room. I don't care what the magazines say. I like her singing. Even if Sarah's a miserable human being? Just because she has money, she has no right to treat people the way she does. 
Now do you believe us? It doesn't make any sense. Why would Molly say those things about me? <laughs> Calypso, what is wrong with you? There's nothing there. See you tomorrow, Bailey. I'm putting Calypso on her stall. Bye, Molly. And stay away from Zoe's magazines. <laughs> okay. Now's your chance. Let her say it to your face. I still can't believe. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with all of you? That's what we'd like to know. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're the one who needs to do the explaining, not us. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Sarah, please! What's this all about? If you have a problem with me, tell me straight to my face. What are you talking about, Sarah? I never said anything about you. <gasps> You're not trying to deny it, are you? Excuse me? Molly, I never thought you, of all people, would be so two-faced. Two-faced? That's my right. Look, I don't know how you got this in your heads, but if you don't want to explain yourselves, then hey, fine. It's not my problem. Molly! Don't bother. She had her chance. Yeah, she sure did. I know what to do about Molly. We give her the silent treatment. I'm telling you, she was talking about some singer named Sarah, not our Sarah. Are you saying Zoe lied? Zoe didn't lie. She misunderstood. I'm surprised at Sarah. She doesn't usually fall for this sort of garbage. And now look, the whole mess keeps getting worse and worse. Poor Molly. She has no idea what this is all about. If they don't stop talking to each other, it's not going to get any better. Complete silent treatment. Not one word for any reason. Here she comes. <laughs> Hello, you. At least I still have one friend left at Horseland. I have you, girl. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Let them go first. This is awful, Champ. Just awful. It's what happens when people stop communicating. Molly? Oh, you're talking to me? It doesn't have to be this way. What way? I have no idea why you're doing this to me. Talk to me. You're the one who started it. I think you know how to end it. Started what? End what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sarah. What is going on? We all heard you, Molly. You know what you said. Come on, Sarah. Until she owns up to what she's done, there's no point talking to her. Race you back to horse land. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Yeah. <sighs> this just gets 
worse and worse. Team, ready to win this thing. Where'd that team go? Fine! Bailey, what are you doing? We just started. Let's just take a break. We'll try again later. It was her fault. She bumped into Pepper and me. What's going on with everybody? Don't ask me. Yesterday, everything was cool. Today, I'm a nobody. Maybe you could talk to them, Bailey. Find out what it's all about. Why don't you try to work it out first? If you still need me, sure, I can try. I don't know, Bailey. Give it a try. You're all good friends. They sure aren't acting like good friends. You'll work it out. <sighs> I've had enough of this, Calypso. They want to give me the silent treatment? I'll show them silent treatment. I used to have the coolest friends at Horseland. I wonder where they went. Cause all that's left is a bunch of babbling, gossipy kids. And I'm not interested in being on any team with them. Hey, I just got a craving for some cocoa with a whole lot of whipped cream on top. Anybody else? Anybody but you. And who could possibly care? <laughs> I have no friends at Horseland anymore. And if I don't have friends, what's the point of being here? <laughs> I'm sorry, Calypso. We're just going to have to find a new stable. I know, girl. I don't like it either. I'd better start packing up my gear. Mm. Where's Molly? She pulled out. What? Get her back! I don't think she wants to come back. Come on! I don't know what's going on with all of you, but if you want the trophy, you better get her back. <sighs> Who wants to take a little ride and talk this over? Sounds good. I could use the distraction. Yeah, a nice trail ride. <laughs> I think I'll get my jacket. Good idea. Molly's almost finished emptying our locker. But what can we do? I have an idea. Here's the plan. There they go, my ex-best friends. Just a few more things and I'll be done. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Calypso! This isn't like you. Get it. One last ride at Horseland, all right? <laughs> but we're not going anywhere near those others, okay? <laughs> Come on, 
on, girl. Let's go. <laughs> Calypso, what's wrong? Did you get a rock in your hoof? Nope, don't see one. <laughs> Hurts, huh, girl? Come on, I'll walk you back. girl, it's not that far. Oh, no. Something wrong with Calypso? We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Come on, Sarah. Vamanos! <laughs> you alone. I mean, we're friends, right? Used to be. I don't know about now. I don't like this any more than you do. You're not the one getting the silent treatment. Well, I'm not silent now. Okay, so tell me, what in the world is this all about? <sighs> Zoe heard you say I had a huge ego. I never said that. Alma didn't believe her. So she went to see you, and she heard you say I was a stuck-up phony. No way! Then I heard you call me a miserable person. Wait, was that when I was talking to Bailey in the tag room? I don't believe this! I don't either, Molly. I said something like, Sarah has a lot of money, and she treats people badly, right? Um, yeah. Yeah! I said those things, all of them. But why? I don't say things like that about you. And I never said them about you. But Molly, you just said. I said those things about a singer, a singer named Sarah Malone. I was talking about her, not you. Oh, Molly! <laughs> I don't know what to say. I should've, should've. You should've talked to me, Sarah. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me, Molly? Yeah, I can, Sarah. <laughs> but we won't ever let this happen again, okay? Never, Molly. He dumped the sister to go back to Shondi. Tacky, tacky. Z Zoe, look! <laughs> Everybody, we owe Molly a really, really huge apology. What Why? Do you mean? Molly didn't say what we thought she said. But I heard her. We all heard her. We heard her talking about somebody else about a different Sarah. And Molly almost left us, almost left Horseland, because of all this. Oh, Molly. Molly. I'm so sorry. I guess this is our fault. Well, technically, it's your fault. Yeah, it's true. I'm the one who spread the gossip. We're all at fault, Zoe. We should have talked it out with Molly not behind her back. And it kept getting worse and worse. <laughs> Why did we let it go on so long? <laughs> we have to make a vow. We will never let this happen again, ever. Never, never, ever. I'm for that. What I did was really awful. Can you ever forgive me, Molly? I can, Zoe. Hey! Are we ever going to practice? Yeah, I think we're ready now. You should have seen how 
how bad we were without you. That'll teach us. Good thinking, Teeny. That's the best place for trash like that. Today on Horseland, Chloe is so desperate for attention, she commits to a dangerous jump that may put her life at risk. Chloe, Chili, stop! You're not ready for that! <laughs> What could have happened to them? I don't know. Vanished into thin air. A dozen blueberry pies gone like that. We need them for all the extra guests tomorrow. Hmm. Hey, Shep, what's all the excitement? Seems some pies are missing. Wouldn't know anything about them, would you? I, uh, I know pies are delicious, Shep, but uh, I wouldn't go stealing them. Uh -uh. Just ask, Tini, because you know and I know. It's always best to tell the truth. Oh, you bet. Always, always. Uh. Always. <laughs> well, then, if you happen to remember anything, you just tell me, all right? Uh-huh. Of course, Shep. You can count on me. I'm the most honest pig in all of Horseland. <laughs> Algernon. We'll be ready at five. Hey, Molly. Hey. Whoa, swanky threads, Chloe. Are they new? Of course, straight from Paris. I would expect nothing less. Chloe, you liar. Aunt Matilda gave you that for your birthday. Oh, Zoe, she's part French, isn't she? Practically the same thing. Well, here she comes. What's the matter, Chili? You don't sound too excited to see her. Chloe's a good kid, sometimes. But most times, well... Well what, Chili? She likes to take all the credit. She thinks she's the one doing all the work. And I'm just along for the ride, you know? She can't honestly think that. But she does. It's true. She sure does, doesn't she? You're right. Oh my, that's very sad. She's not as good a writer as she makes everybody think. I'm the one doing the work. Please, aren't all humans that way? No, not all of them, Angara. <laughs> Sarah isn't, or Alma either. Molly never does. Someday, Chloe's gonna see the truth of it. She'll understand one day. I just got a feeling. Quiet, everyone. Here they come. They can't understand us anyway. I can't wait to show everybody how amazingly I'll ace the course today. Hey, Sarah, Molly, hey, Alma. Hey, hey Bailey. Bailey. You guys hear about tomorrow? About the jumping competition? Yeah, but that's not all. Bailey, what are you talking about? Some advanced riders from another county are coming. They'll be doing parallel oxer. It takes some really good riding and a super smart horse to do them right. Yeah, or you'll wind up sitting on the dirt with your horse on one side and you on the other. Will says you guys might get to learn the parallel oxers next year. So I said to her, Lavender's going to be so last year. But this year, pink and chartreuse are like totally it. Yeah, like you would wear pink cargo pants with a chartreuse blouse. Have you ever jumped one of those, Bailey? No way! I've done it lots of times. Hmm? Huh? You have? Sure, no biggie. Didn't know you cared about that stuff, Bailey. That's amazing, Chloe. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? I'm a bit of a daredevil. I take chances. I like to do risky things. I'll say you do. Wait a second, Chloe. You're telling us you've jumped a parallel oxer? Para, um, lel, uh... You know, one of those. Oh. Oh, yeah, many times. Too many to count. Remember, it was at, uh, Camp Walden. 
But they don't even let writers our age try for another year. Well, I guess I'm just more mature than some. That is so cool. You can compete with the advanced class tomorrow. Uh, advance? Yeah, most of the riders are three or four years older than us. You can ride with them. You can show us how you do it. Well... Hey, sure, why not? We better get going. Time for some practice. So, so, why didn't Chloe just tell him it was a mistake? Why didn't she admit she's never done it? Wasn't it obvious? She did it to impress them. But, 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 that's just silly. You'd think that they'd have figured it out. Yeah, you'd think that. They should have figured it out. <laughs> figured what out, Chip? If you tell a lie, it's always going to come back to bite you. Right, just like these fleas. Although, not good. Don't like to be bitten. Are you ready, girl? <laughs> How's that, Calypso? <laughs> Too tight? <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? What is? I'm talking about Chloe. Having somebody at Horseland who knows how to jump like that? Man, I can't wait till tomorrow. If Chloe can really jump a parallel oxer, then I'm the Queen of England. We'll find out soon enough. Your Majesty. <laughs> I think it's time to come clean, Chloe. About what? The parallel oxer? Oh, that. Well, come on. It was just a little fib. No biggie. Hi, Chloe. Did you see that? Did you see how he looked at me? <laughs> He's totally into me. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Oh, lighten up, sis. I'm sure I can do it. No, if anybody does it, it's going to be me. <laughs> Tell me we're not doing the parallel oxer, Will. We're not, Molly. Those are for advanced riders. Bring it on. We're working on low doubles today. First off, speed is the key. But gallop too fast and you might get too much height. You won't land in position for the next fence and trotting too slow, and you won't clear it. That'll cost you points. A medium canter is what you want. Watch your position. Your horse can't take off and land if you're too far forward or leaning to the side. Stay low, relax, and centered. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sarah, you're up. Going, girl. Good job, Sarah. Alma, your turn. More speed next time. It's harder than it looks. Billy, you're up. <laughs> it's okay, Aztec. Zoe. Nice try. A little too high on number one. Good luck, sis. Come on, boy. <laughs> Way to go, Chloe! Nice job! Excellent! All right! Hey, Chloe, do the parallel oxer. Come on, one time for us! Huh? You said you could do it, sis. Come on, Chloe! You aren't going to let her try, are you? You don't think I can do it? Just watch. Hold on! Chloe, stop! You're not ready for that! It's okay, Will. She can do it! Chloe, I said stop! This is not good. <laughs> What are you doing, Chloe? I... I don't know what got into Chili. I mean, 
We've done this so many times and he just freaked out. Hey, it happens. Don't sweat it. You'll do it tomorrow. Sure, tomorrow. What were you trying to prove that, Chili? You should have stopped her, Chili. I could have made the jump if she'd held on. Oh, Chili. I don't know who's worse, you or her. Speak for yourself. I'm amazed she didn't get into trouble. Will should have taken away her riding privileges. Hey, Chloe, guess what? What, Bailey? There's a reporter here doing a story for the newspaper. Are they taking pictures? Can we get in some shots? Nah, no pictures today. Aww. They're interviewing my dad about the competition at Horseland tomorrow. Oh, that's nice, Bailey. Dad told him about you and the Parallel Oxer. Oh, he did? They want to get some shots of you making the jump tomorrow. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah. Way cool. See ya. Yeah, right. You got it. See ya. Sis, you cannot let this go on any longer. You have to tell the truth. I can't do that, Zoe. Didn't you see the look on Bailey's face? I mean, he winked at me. Yeah, and? Zoe, it's like I'm a superstar. I can't let my fans down. What happens tomorrow when it's time to actually do it? Guess I'll jump that fence when I come to it. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, Sarah. See you, Alma. What's the deal? Get in. I, uh, forgot something. Algernon, take Zoe home and come back for me in a couple hours, please. Hello? Anybody here? Phew. Boy, it's just me. We're just gonna do a little extra practicing. No big deal. All right, Chili, let's get ready for tomorrow. <laughs> just a little warm up now. Was a good warm up, Chili. Again. Come on, don't let me down. We did it. All right. Just a little more practice on this one. Okay, boy, let's take a break. Get you some water. Chile, why don't you stop? You're both gonna get hurt. I have to do this. I have to show her I'm a better horse. Then she is a rider. Okay, one more time, Chili. Goodness, those horses can be as stubborn as, as, as... People. You said it, Shep. Good boy. Let's do it again. Come on, boy. That was perfect. I think we're ready for the parallel oxer. <laughs> Come on, boy. Make me look good now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no! Not good! Oh, Chili, are you all right? Are we 
you doing, Chile? Not too bad. Just a sprain, I think. A sprain? Ooh, not good, not good! <laughs> okay, just calm down, Chloe. Phew, it doesn't look bad. You'll be fine by tomorrow. Come on, boy. How's that leg doing, boy? Chloe! Hey, Bailey. How are you feeling today? Well, uh, Bailey, I, um... Hey, don't be nervous. I know you're gonna fly over that jump this time. Chloe, you and Chili go out there and do your best, okay? We know you can do it! <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Let's go, boy. Why didn't you tell them? That was the perfect chance to do it. Thing is, we did the jump last night. You did? Way to go! But it's way hard and we're not ready for this today. Chili got hurt. Hey, Chloe, I forgot to tell you. It's not just the newspaper here. There's a camera crew from Channel 5 News. You're going to be famous! Yeah! <laughs> not the kind of famous you were hoping for, huh? You have to do the right thing, sis. Tell them, now. I know. Sarah Whitney is riding her Arabian Scarlet for Horseland. And another member of the Horseland Junior Team, Miss Chloe Stilton, is riding Chili, a Dutch warm blood. Chloe and Chili are going to start today's competition with the Parallel Oxer. How did it get this far? You're not really going to try this, are you? I can do it. Come on, Chili, you have a sprain. You're in no shape for it. And Chloe's not a good enough rider. You're both going to get really hurt. This is my chance to prove I'm a better horse than she is a rider. Okay, Chili, let's go, boy. Are you ready? Let's go. Whoa, hold on, Chili, hold on. What's going on out there? We can't do this, Chili. Your leg's still tender. <laughs> You're a tough horse, Chili. But we can't do this. I'm not ready. And it's my fault that you're hurt. What's she doing, Bailey? Not sure, cuz. Excuse me. There's something I need to say. Huh? Something I need to confess. I should have said this before, but I didn't. I, um... I'm not going to do that jump today. In fact, I'd never done it before last night. I, I lied when I said I had. I found out that I'm not a good enough rider. Maybe someday, but not now. And the worst part, I came close to seriously hurting the best horse in the whole world. I'm sorry, but I'm pulling out of the meat to let my horse rest and heal. Good going, Chloe. That was the right thing to do. I didn't know you had it in you. Way to go, Chloe. I'm proud of you, sis. Thanks, guys. Chloe? Bailey, I, I'm really sorry. What you did out there? That was cool. Took a lot of guts. I'm, you know, impressed. Thanks, Bailey. <laughs> An excellent ride for Miss Sarah Whitney. That should clinch the lead for her. Next up, Miss Molly Washington. She's over one cleanly with a slight nip at the top rail. A nice performance with a small deduction. Know what, Chili? I'm happy for them. Really happy. Dr. Martin says he'll be fine soon. So I can't be anything but happy. You matter a lot more to me than winning some competition or making some big jump. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll be as good a rider as you are a horse. Champ? Yeah, Tina? About those pies? Well, maybe I did see them. Yeah? And maybe I did eat one or two 
or 12. Oh, Shep, I'm so sorry. I was such a pig. It was so wrong. <laughs> I'll never, ever do it again. Feels good to get it off your chest, hmm? Sure does, Shep. And there's something else I need to get off my chest. What's that, Tina? Uh... Oh, that feels much better, too.